10 companies won spots on a potential 10-year, $485 million contract to provide supporting equipment for the KC-46 aircraft fleets of the U.S. Air Force and foreign military customers. Executive Mosaic CEO and Washington 100 founder Jim Garrison formally handed a Washington 100 plaque of recognition to 2023 inductee David McEwen, Senior Information Security Officer and Deputy Chief Information Officer for Cybersecurity at the Department of Defense. Susan Chodakowitz, former president and CEO of international economic and analytics consulting firm Nathan Associates, has been named Chief Growth Strategy Officer of Technical and Strategic Consultancy Cadmus. The U.S. Army has started seeking proposals as it plans to award basic ordering agreements under the second iteration of a program for the procurement of logistics support services. VSE has secured a potential five-year, $565 million contract from U.S. Air Force to help maintain the service branch's C-5 aircraft fleet. Mercury Systems has appointed finance and technology leader David Farnsworth as chief financial officer and added Roger Crone former chairman and CEO of Lidos and a 10-time WASH 100 awardee, to the board as an independent director. Kristen McLeod, an accounting and finance professional with more than two decades of industry experience, has been promoted to senior vice president of finance and accounting and controller at Caliber Systems. The State Department has approved a potential $5.6 billion foreign military sale of F-35 aircraft, munitions and related equipment to the government of the Czech Republic. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Air Force Summit on July 18, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The Government Accountability Office has decided to sustain 98 bid protests filed against the National Institutes of Health Information Technology Acquisition and Assessment Center's potential 10-year, $50 billion Chief Information Officer Solutions and Partners follow-on contract for IT products and services. Kevin Toner, former Managing Director of Treasury, Economics and Commerce at MITRE, has been elevated to the role of Vice President of the Center for Government Effectiveness and Modernization.